know up in the mountains, mm -hmm. but Kristen's here to actually show us uh, a pictures or new video. You said, yeah. Well, I ha did have some video earlier. You'll okay. have to go to my social media, my Facebook or Twitter, to see that. But this is a look at <laughs> what's happening lovely. there today, and it's a time lapse video. And it's just been such a beautiful day up on the mountains. So many lucky folks up there. Wish I could have been one of them uh, up there enjoying the fresh snow that's been coming down. We picked up another inch or two overnight last night, and more is on the way. We're going to keep this going as we head into the weekend, even into the early part of next week. Tomorrow, Friday, we could pick up another three to maybe even five inches of snow. Saturday will be more sunshine and some flurries occasionally as we dry things out, but we'll stay cold enough. And then Sunday will bring in yet more snow showers, and those could add up quickly too as we could see them come down quite heavily, and that's because this weather pattern is just going to be so active for us. So today, a break between systems. Friday's storm here it is churning. Again, it's coming from the north to keep the cooler air in place. It's going to swing a front right on through there. Early tomorrow, it's going to bring more downpours, maybe even more hail for parts of the metro area into the valley. And lightning, definitely a possibility too. And it's also going to bring in, again, some of that heavy snow for the mountains. I'll track it for you in a second. Right now, though, very lovely out. We're in the mid 50s after a high today of 58 degrees. So, not a bad looking day at all. And we'll stay dry for most of the evening. The one thing to worry about tonight will just be the chill. Temperatures in the mid 50s through 7. We're down into the 40s by 9 p.m. We'll stay dry, partly to mostly cloudy skies, mid 40s by 11 o'clock, and then you wake up tomorrow morning, lows tonight down into the upper 30s. It'll be a chilly start to your Friday. We'll be off to a dry start, but then we'll have to watch for those showers to push in, likely just in time for lunch. Here's how it tracks out. 7.45 in the morning, here comes the band. It's going to be moving in along coastal areas and pushing through between 7 and 9. So get ready for that. And you can see the oranges here. We're talking the possibility for some real downpours. That moves into the valley right around the lunch hour. So uh, get ready for that. That commute at lunch hour could get a little hairy out there. These downpours uh, will definitely restrict some of that visibility. And again, we may even get some small hail out of it. Then it pushes into the mountains for the afternoon. That's when we could get a quick couple of inches, few inches going there, and we'll try to keep that going as we go through the evening. Still watching for a few showers behind the front to pop up, and again, those could be a little bit intense at times too. Saturday arrives, and then we try to dry things out a little bit. There's a chance we may get a few stray showers here in the valley, and it will be wetter for the coast, but once you get east of the coast, Saturday does look like we'll find a lot of dry time. Sunday, it's going to be wet all day. Showers in the morning, showers and storms for the afternoon. Here's your Easter egg hunting forecast for Saturday. Not too too bad. Mid 50s and just a slight chance for a few showers. Easter Day Sunday, totally different story. Wet to begin with, and it just ends up wetter for the afternoon and cool too. Highs only in the low to mid 50s. So shower chances around uh, for your Saturday, but again, better of the two days there for this weekend. Mid 50s Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday, we're starting to try to clear things out really Tuesday, and then we're back to the 60s by Wednesday. And don't forget to download the uh, PDX weather app. You can find it very easily on your smartphone. And, and if you do, it'll help you kind of navigate through some of these showers that pop up. They can be kind of random, so yeah. it's a good thing. I'll, I'll be tool. out there on the Easter egg hunt Sunday with the kids. Yep. Yeah, we got a shower. There's right, the PDX. Kids, okay, kids, get over get, here. Yeah, baby. it'll be like, get in the car. It's time to go. Sorry, we're cutting we're your trip short. We're today. headed to California. <laughs> we're yeah. getting out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. And coming up.